boys and girls. Who can tell me how many numbers that you're counting? How many do you see? But remember, you're going to have to defend it. Defend how many you see. I know, I know. Kai, how many do you see? Sixteen. Sixteen? Well, I like Naman agrees. He's going to be a little thumbs up. Who else agrees? Does anyone think it's something different than sixteen? Evan, do you have a different idea? Nineteen? Parker, how many do you think there are? Fourteen. Fourteen. We have lots of different ideas. Let's have... Parker, why don't you come up and defend fourteen? Let's see how he's going to defend it. Okay, can you get your body ready so all the kids can see? I'm defending fourteen because um, I'm making um, ten... Thank you for being respectful listeners. Uh, and, wait, I changed my mind. I think 16. Oh, he noticed something when he was defending. At first, I like how you made the 10 first. So how many were at the top at the beginning? 10. How, at the very beginning, how many were at the top? Um, I think I picked 16. I mean, because I was going to do minus. I do minus. Well, well, this is um, what I mean. Um, ten, uh, fourteen, fourteen plus two uh, equals sixteen. Okay, so let's let's see let's see how he did this. Let's go back to each little each little part so we can see his thinking. At first, he wanted to make a ten. That was really smart. That's a good way to add your numbers is to make a ten. So I know that there were three at the bottom at the very beginning. He had, So how many were on that 10 frame at the very beginning? How many uh, were there? First, there was eight. There were eight at the very beginning. And then there's another eight. Um, I know, I know um, another way. For let's, time. let's stop. I, he's, I can already tell Parker's got lots of different ways he's thinking about it. I like how the boys yeah, and girls are just sitting still and watching. Riley just sitting still and watching. Let's go back and look at this part. We're doing some really good thinking, Parker. First, you started with eight. How many more did you add to make the ten? Let's go back to that little um, piece. It's equal because there's another eight. You see another eight inside? Yeah. Right. Do you want to do it? Oh, you want to do it that way instead? No, I found one more equation. Let's let's go back. you you know what I'm saying. He's saying so many different ways. I love his thinking. Let's look back to what it looked like at the very beginning. Can we go back to look? Yeah. Okay. Here's it. Before you start moving them, it looked just like this. That's just what it looked like. You had eight at the top. Let's go back to the part just where you make a ten. Show me how you made the ten. You started with eight. How did you make a ten? Okay, let's add stop. Two more. He added two more to make that ten. Eight plus two equals ten. So now he's made the ten. Now let's look at this part and see how you get the rest of the numbers. Are you watching? I like it. So you have 10 at the top. Tell me about your thinking on the second 10 frame. Um, from the second 10 frame, there's four missing because the number six is over there. Oh, I let, look, he's looking at the whole thing. He knows that the whole thing was filled up. How many would it be if all this was filled up? Um, that will be 16, but I can move it. Okay, so tell me how tell me how you know how many extra ones you have it here. It was, um, it was... First I did 10 and then there was 6. How do you know there are 6 extra ones here? Because I was thinking in my mind. Show me how you know. How did you add? Which, what, which number did you put in your head to find out that there were 6 extra? He thinks there are 6 extra. Look right here. How did you know? What groups did you see here? Um, Let's see. We already know that there's 10. How do you know there's 6 extra here? Because I count all my fingers. Show me how. Just like this. Just like this. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So look, he counted by his ones. Alex, you watching? He counted. He knew there were 10, and then he counted the extra ones. Watch. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So he knew 10 plus 6 more equals 16. There's, there's another equation. Did you see lots of different ways? No, I only found one more. Well, let's let another.
Okay, so they're it thinking. Plus yes. 4 times 4 is 16. That is, that is another way to equal 14, you're right. Let's go back, let me put it back to what it looked like at the very beginning. Do you know a different way to show your thinking? Namat, do you know? Come show, come show your thinking. I knew. Now, let's get our bodies ready first. Can you get your bodies and watch them so all the kids can see you? Is every kid watching nicely? Evan, you watching? I saw those five at the top and five at the bottom here. Okay, so let's stop right there and watch. He sees five at the top plus five at the bottom. Let me write that to show what the equation looks like. He sees five plus five more. What's the total of five and five? Ten. Ten. Did you just know that one quick or do you have to use a strategy? I just need it quick. Okay. So if they were, if they were here, so let's so now let's go back. Let's go back and look, because look, you've already counted the five and the five. Do you want it? And so we already counted those. Now we need to count these two. Do you I, want, I knew three plus three equals six. Oh, and then yeah, because look, we've already got these counted. So we don't want to move them because we're already counting them. Is every kid watching nicely? We don't want to move them because we've already counted them. But now he sees a three and three more. What's three and three more? Six. Okay. So if there's ten all filled up at the top and bottom, and there's six with these two together, what do you do next? You can erase the zero from the ten and then put the six in front of it, and it'll make sixteen. Show me how, just like this. How would you think about it in your mind to add them? Because I knew... Because if 3 plus 3 is 6 and 5 plus 5 is 10, mm -hmm. if you put 10 and 6 together by counting on, it would make 16. So he's got to put the 10 and the 6 together and count on to show us just like this. Just like this. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You got it. Great job. You can show me one more. What's one more way that you can show it? Everybody's watching so nicely. Who's got a nice still hand in the air? I like Haley. You're saying it so nicely. Thanks for being good sports. Let's have Haley show us her thinking. I'm defending 16 because I counted by twos. Just like this. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16. Good thinking. You could count by your twos, couldn't you? Two. Let's draw it in pictures. So she saw two. Raise your hand and you can tell me next, okay? She saw two together. And then she saw two more. And then she saw these two. So we could even move it to make them close. Two. Then she saw two more. Two more. Two more. We could put these two together. Two more. Two more. I heard someone say that could be times or multiplication. Does somebody want to tell us about that? Haley, do you know how? Do you want to have one of them share how? One of them? Who thinks that? Joe, do you think you know? Okay, come up, up and show us. You okay? Okay. Come up and show us how that could be multiplication. Can you stand the side so they can see? Eight times two. Why is it eight times two? Tell me about the picture why this would be eight times two. Two. Let's look at this picture. Where did you where do you get the twos? Where do you see two eight? Oh okay. So I see how you're looking at it. Stay this side so they can see. Look how he's seeing it. He sees two groups. Where's one of the groups? Point to it. Here's one group. Where's the other group? Two groups. See how he sees two groups? He sees two groups. How many is in each group? Two times eight. How many is in each group? Eight. And there's eight in each group. Let's see if there's eight in this group. Ready? Come with me and whisper. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's two, and there's eight in this group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He knows two times eight is sixteen. Good. That is a way that you could think about it. Who can tell me though? Let's go back to this one. Let's go back. Where are the twos here? This is a little bit different. Oh, do you see all the groups of two? Yeah. Let's circle the groups of two. Can you stand this side so they can see? Will you guys count with me? Let's let's count together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So how many how many are there in each group? Sixteen. How many are there in each group? Two. This is Joe's turn. There's two in each group. And how many times do we have the twos? Eight. Two times eight is sixteen. You got it. So who agrees that it's sixteen? Now put your hands down. Did it, did anyone change their mind and now you think something different? Have, do you still agree with 19, or did you change your mind? Uh, do the black dots count? Say, can you tell us about it? Do the black dots count? The black dots don't count. But look, tell us about your thinking. Joe, sit down. Come up and tell us, tell us how you counted 19. What was your thinking? Uh, I was like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19. So he was counting the black ones too. How many black ones are there? Uh, three. There's three black ones. So if we count the 16 red and yellow ones plus the three black ones, how many would there be? Uh, 19. There would be 19 if we counted those, but we don't count them, so how many do we have to take away? Uh, minus three. So we have to take 19 minus three is 16. So do we agree? Give me a thumbs up if you agree that there are 16 red and yellow dots. 